So I just saw King Kong vs. Godzilla, or Godzilla vs. Kong, however you want to say it. Um, I'm a huge fan of Godzilla. I absolutely love the entire Showa era. I love everything from the 80s and 90s. I love everything from the 2000s. I just love it all. It's all so fun and interesting, and just like the way that they find a way to make these like monsters fight each other is always fun to me. I absolutely love this movie from just a fighting standpoint, from a standpoint that this is not this is not your traditional like monster fighting movie where like it's all about like the family, it's all about like all these characters trying to figure out what's going on. They don't care about that. Adam Wingard, 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 whatever. He's directed a lot of fun action movies that I really like, like The Guest, um, who's next? I think it's called. Um, I hate his adaptation of Blair Witch. He's a mixed director. Obviously, he directed that terrible, horrible Death Note movie that everyone hates. But he he's an interesting director whenever he's not being like manhandled by a studio. And I feel like while he was being manhandled by a studio with Godzilla vs. Kong, I feel like he managed it pretty well. These sort of influences of this neon color scheme and this like sort of Adam Wingard style. I don't know how to put a name on it, but like... Just the, 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 the techno score, the synth score really worked well with it too. And the fights feel so kinetic. Everything feels so just punchy and like weighty and like I don't know how to describe it in a uh, sophisticated way. But this movie's not sophisticated at all, so I'm not going to try. I can't get enough of this like just absolute fandom of both Kong and Godzilla like it, it's so fun to see people talk about this movie and be so hyped up about it because this is one of the first like movies in a while that's really gotten people hyped up other than like some shows that have come out like WandaVision and stuff like that but this isn't like a movie that has gotten people just to go to a movie theater or just like have a watch party it's basically a UFC fight essentially just betting on who will win and while you know there's not I'm not going to say the winner of the fight. It is so badass no matter who you're rooting for. I loved everything <laughs> with, <laughs> with how they try to characterize Kong and how they try to make it so like he is the protagonist of this movie. And like it was very, I, I, I kind of like the relationship between the girl and like King Kong. It was kind of cute. It wasn't really like taken seriously at all. It was just this sort of cutesy relationship. But like it was, it was sweet. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I know it's like a manipulative kind of thing uh, for like a big budget movie to do something like this, but it actually worked for me. Um, and everything they did with Godzilla felt like, obviously, Godzilla, you know, was a was a quote unquote good guy in <laughs> the past two movies. But now, you know, having this sort of uh, reason to make him fight everyone, it didn't really make sense. But at the same time. If they're going to fight each other, I don't care of the context. It, whatever they're going to do, I'll just take it. Um, but it was it was so fun what we got. Uh, I love everything about the way that they shot the fights. It's so fun to see, like I said, how kinetic it all is. And while, you know, the sort of tension is taken out when it focuses on the humans that we don't really care about that much, they... Adam Wingard takes so much time to make sure that you get as much monster fighting as you want from a movie like this. And it is absolutely glorious. He took advantage of every single dollar of this budget and made sure that you could see just so much of this fight instead of King of Monsters, which fogs it all up and you can't see a single thing. I hate that movie. They waste... They wasted so many good monsters in that movie, but we finally have a quality monster movie in this series. I need to rewatch the original Godzilla to be fair, because I remember that uh, being sort of boring at first, but then looking back on it, it has this, all of this really interesting like 9-11 imagery, which I didn't really expect, but I need to revisit that one. But this one's probably my favorite out of all of them as of right now, as of like what I've rewatched and what I've watched. It, it's just everything you'd want to you'd want from this kind of thing plus adam wingard style with the neon and the sort of synth score and this really like kinetic choreography between the monsters it's just it's it's so fun i don't care if it's like like a baby <laughs> smashing action figures together it's it's fun I'll, I'll take what i can get uh but yeah it's a gr honestly a really good movie in my opinion i think it's like a seven out of ten um i highly recommend it but uh yeah uh, that's my thing. <laughs>